In this tutorial, we will show the general functionality of the tool without going into detail on each of the options. Please choose one of the three more specific diagram tutorials to really learn how each of the functional areas work. When you click on the diagram button in a new assessment, you will see the screen as shown here. Let's go to the Tools option and load a predefined template. We will select the PCS or Process Control System option. Now we will add a zone with a moderate assurance level. To see more space on the diagram, we will zoom out by going back to the Diagram menu options and clicking on the negative magnifying glass. We then will go to the Diagram Symbols docking window, click on Zones, and draw the zone. After creating the zone, we need to enter properties. In the Diagram Properties window, we will select the zone type by choosing Plant System in the list box. We now type in Area 51 in the tag field. We will leave the Sal and the Layer fields as they are. We will now add new components to our diagram. In Plant Area 51, we will first add a firewall. followed by a router, and then an engineering workstation. We'll add tag and host names, but leave the defaults in the other fields. To connect the diagram components, you must click on a line connector under the diagram menu. To connect the components, click on the first component to select it, then click inside the gray border to start the line. It is easier if you are not in the center of the first selection, especially if there are already multiple connections. Notice that the center of the end component will light up with a slight red dot in the center. This is the end connection point. You'll notice the red numbered circle that appeared when you connected the corporate switch to the plant firewall. This indicates that there is a basic concern with the network diagram. Clicking the red circle will cause the system to open a message box explaining what is wrong. Let's go back and take a look at some of the tools in the diagram. First, we will turn off the network analysis and close the Symbols and Properties windows. You can import a diagram from a different assessment without bringing in answers. You can also import diagrams from previous releases of CSET. You are given the option to save the diagram and share it with someone else or keep multiple copies if you wish as a backup. Templates are predefined diagrams for specific sectors. You can also create a new template and share it with industry associations or within your own organization. As we saw earlier, it is easier to load a template or import a saved diagram. We will change to an oil and gas example. Remember that you will lose all data associated with the current diagram when you load a new one. This means that any answers, comments, and files associated with the component questions are also lost. In a real assessment, we recommend saving your assessment to a backup file before proceeding. CSET provides layering capabilities. To create a new layer, we can use the Manage Layers form. Simply enter the layer name, click the Add Layer button, and then click OK. You can change layers for individual objects or for groups. 
let's go ahead and change the corporate zone to a new layer and then make it visible. We can embellish the diagram with shapes and text. First, we will turn the main layer back on and then we will drag a rectangle onto the diagram. We will now add a text block. After it is placed on the screen, you can change it by double-clicking on the text. This approach to changing the text string also works for component labels. The last feature we will highlight is formatting. In our case, we will increase the size and font of the new text string. To see the diagram in a maximized window, we can close the docking windows and minimize the toolbar. We do this by clicking the right mouse button in an empty space on the ribbon. This brings up a minimized toolbar box. Clicking the checkbox minimizes the toolbar. However, it can still be used by clicking on one of the menu choices. This concludes the general overview of the new CSET diagramming functionality.